Rachel, so the watch business is uh, pretty 19th century, right, in the way it run runs? Right. Um, well, I think it's just, you know, the watch industry is very unique in that it doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, mono brand boutiques. I would think that watch brands more than anyone would just kind of want a, a small place to call their own, you know, no distractions from any other brand. Um, I know that a lot of um, you know, watch retailers like Tourneau or Wemp, um, you know, they have a lot of stores and, you know, they even have online counterparts. But I think it's interesting that a lot of luxury uh, watchmakers are building their own model brand boutiques. Um, and I personally think it's for the best so that they can create kind of their own culture. I mean, it's, it's true that you don't see luxury watches sold that often through e-commerce. Right. Or even direct. Right. Um, I think that's probably because, um, kind of like a luxury car, luxury watches are, you know, they're obviously very expensive, but it's in a very emotional process. It's kind of like jewelry. Um, you know, I think that people want to touch it and hold it and, you know, just kind of try it on. They don't want to just, um, you know, pick out a watch online and buy it. I think they want to have the experience, and in, uh, the in-store experience definitely enhances that. Thank you.